when it gets cold, Hami purposely comes up, rubs me in my face until I open up the blanket, and she jumps into my arms and lays down right there next to me. It's so adorable. She just purrs right here next to me. Not bothered in the slightest. something different it's because they are shot on something different because main camera here um, perhaps it's the uh, power inverter we're using perhaps it's that you're not supposed to use a surge protector with it I don't know um, but my camera batteries have just been getting killed so this one is for sure being plugged in the correct way and turn it on nothing Nothing in the viewfinder, nothing on the view preview or the screen. So we swap it out with another one. Here's another one I've had in another charger. And this one really shows a little sign of life, but just does not charge. So, for the meantime, the main camera is out of commission. So I've been using my cell phone. Which is fine. It'll it'll make do. So that explains that. So the big question is, how do I live in a jeep with a cat? With this cat? Oh my god, that's your butt. Oh no. How do I live in a jeep with this little baby? There's a leg in her tail. Tickle your paw. Squint. Fresh. Yes. This is your favorite part. Oh, yes. Oh. That's right. Just shake it off. In the words of Taylor Swift, just shake it off. Get all that extra hair that you have off. It makes you all so grumpy. And you even tell me that you like this. Yes, that's why you keep coming back. You want to go for a walk? Yes, you do. I can tell. Let's find a leash for you. Boop, boop, boop. I don't know where I put the leash. I'm going to make one. I'm going to find some paracord and make one for you. You repeat. Now, most things don't change. She's still a cat, so she has to eat. I did train her to live kind of by one rule, though, or 
and that is I eat first. So I just had a little bit to eat of some olives, and now it's going to be time for Curdy. She is very smart about that. She always waits patiently until I'm done with my food. 90% of the time she doesn't eat my food. But honey, food time. Very nice. About two or three times a day I just give her a handful of food. She's very fine. Um, but during the winter, I feed her a little bit more because it does get pretty chilly. We have been getting down to about 35 degrees. I want to make sure that she is staying nice and warm. Uh, then secondly is water. Ugh. Which is no different. She needs water on a daily basis. So I have this. Dump out her old water. Squirt around a little bit. Clean it out. And then fill it with some more water for you, honey. Mine. Now, Ami has a drinking problem that she does not like to admit or talk about. But she drinks almost non-stop and then has to pee almost non-stop. Don't you? Which then comes to the kind of nasty part about owning a cat. The litter box. So I knew pretty early on. Obviously, I was going to have to carry around litter for the nice litty. However, I knew I didn't want to carry it inside, so I keep it on the roof. Ugh. I'm also airing a bunch of things out because underneath the bed platform in the cold we're getting a lot of moisture building up. So I have to dry things off. Secondly, I have to be quick with this. Because the moment I move the litter box, Ami likes to use it. Anytime I look at it or touch it, she has to move towards it. Um, so it helps that whenever you do your grocery shopping or any kind of shopping, I like to tear your out. Keep the bag. Because you're gonna need it. Stay up there. If there are any solids, do what you do. Solid it out. However, it's been a couple days, so I'm going to do a full litter replacement. This biohazard. Or some new stuff. About every month or so, I'll fully like wash this out and clean it. Showing everybody how I live with you. That's all you have to say. Just throw it out like any garbage. You normally would. When life gives you lemons, make a leash. Come on. Yes, it is time. Come on down. Bam, 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 bam. Come on. Come on. Broom. Where are we going, Fluffy Tail? Roll. Yes. Right back to the Jeep.
venturing out into the brave cold world. It's all beat and all talk. What was that? It tells you a story. Repeat. It makes you want to dance. I know Fox you don't like having a leash on. Realistically, I probably won't have to, to put a leash on her. She's very good. I know it's cold. Mommy. Yes. See this thing? This thing that you do not like, I can take it off for you. Right. Well, hold still. You're always really good with this. Come on. Have freedom. Oh, yes, shit. Oh. You enjoy your little bits of freedom, don't you? Oh, yeah, I fell on the pavement and cut my hand. <laughs> Clumsy, okay? I'm not smooth like this cat. Get in there, girl. In reality, living with her isn't that difficult. She's a very sweet, low maintenance girl, and she listens most of the time. So, living with her is a delight. I don't know if I could quite imagine what it'd be like if I had to live with, like, a dog or something. Also, I should probably get out of here. There's, like, a girl's soccer match about to start, and that'd be weird if I'm just hanging out here with my cat. As she does whatever it is that she's doing. Also, like, three moms with, like, a bunch of girls just pulled up in vans. It's literally a soccer mom van. Mm. So talkative.